I'm chilling like a villain with my chocolate milk. It's as smooth as silk. It's yummy in my tummy. It tastes so good like I knew it would. When I mix it up and stir it fine, don't take a sip because it's all mine. I love it. Oh yeah, I love it. It's cool. I could drink it in the morning, at noon, or night. It doesn't matter when it's out of sight. The work assignment. There's me. I'm, this is the area I'm doing. Get more time. My name's Pineapple16. What's your real name? My real name is Pineapple16 because more people know me as Pineapple16 than any other name that exists that is associated with this human you see right here. Uh, this particular flower shop, I'm not sure if all the flower shops in town do this, but all the flower rangers fill the vase to the very top with water. So if it tips in the slightest way whatsoever, you have water inside your vehicle. So I will drain some of the water right now. And I'll be draining the next one that comes out too. they'll stay cooler. When you come in on the morning of Valentine's Day or even two days before Valentine's Day or three days before Mother's Day or on Mother's Day, every shelf is jam-packed with arrangements and there's flowers all over the floor area. Vases, arrangements, everywhere there are flowers and you walk in and you, it's, it's kind of overwhelming. You're like, all this stuff has to be delivered today. It's kind of a rush sometimes. It's like, I, I actually like the overall adrenaline rush from the holiday flower deliveries. Uh, during the holidays, when uh, I'll have so many flowers that are very aromatic, and it's like, wow, it's, it's you know, because certain ones, you know, are more potent than others. I like doing funeral homes because it's simple. You know, the people are there because, you know, I mean, they're dead. Where are they going to go? And, um, you know, the people that are working there, you know, the doors are open. You just take the flowers there. You drop them off. You don't have to worry about, you know, people being on the phone or in the shower or whatever. You know, when you take flowers to a person's house, a lot of the times the people are not expecting them. Are you, are you on Bangkok? Are you on main campus? Oh, right there. Sometimes they're not even home. 
And so then you gotta go to the neighbor's house and try to, you know, get the neighbor to take the flowers. And then, you know, they come to the door, they're all excited, they see some flowers. Oh, oh, flowers for me! Oh, I'm sorry, ma'am. You know, these are for your neighbor. Oh, you know, I hate that neighbor. I'm not signing for those flowers. No, we don't get along. Uh, sorry, you're gonna have to find somebody else. You know, like, oh, darn it, you know, and then you gotta find another neighbor. And, you know, they got a dog that likes to bite delivery men. And so, it's, uh, you know, sometimes it's not so cool. But otherwise, I love it because, you know, people, most people are home and, or, or they're, you know, really excited. Oh, flower, you know. So, you're delivering flowers to all these 70 year old women. And they just like, oh, oh, these are the best flowers ever. And oh, oh, my son, he's so cool, you know. And so, they just totally appreciate it so much. And so it's awesome. I mean, some people get the flowers like, yeah, whatever. 